Hello and welcome to Steve's Vintage Model Builds. Uh, this is uh, part three of the Mac R model. I think it's a 685 and I think it's 1973. Um, big rig truck, uh, semi tractor, and uh, the box art makes this look kind of orange and it looks kind of orange. Uh, now that I painted it up, but it's actually bright scarlet red. So I'm going to hope to get a, 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 a picture that does it justice one way or another. Uh, I might have to take a picture on my phone or something rather than uh, rather than this camera. So um, I thought we might get out of this uh, with uh, four parts, including painting and decaling and everything. But we still might do that, uh, plus an epilogue review whatever the case may be. Um, I spilled some metallic paint earlier and it's just a mess. <laughs> Get over it. Yeah. Okay, um, so uh, we're going to do a few different things today. Um, actually, I'm going to start by uh, by showing off the cab here. Um, as you can see, I still have a bit of touch-up work to do on, on the, the sides there. Um, but I got the seats painted and uh, one more coat to go on. And got the, uh, got the bunk done. Um, just, uh, you know, I just painted this up. Um, and um, I'm going to use some uh, black panel liner to uh, show up some of the the folds and the lines and um, and also instead of just a plain white pillow uh, I thought I'd take uh, one of these uh, unused decals this is for if you do the yellow version I'm doing the red version and uh, uh, I'm going to put a little pattern on the pillow and um, with a little uh, uh, Mac decal on it so so yeah so I've got those and uh, but while we're here, um, uh, I'm 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 gonna where is it? Here it is. Set this aside earlier. Uh, put it away carefully, so nothing happened to it. And so now it's gonna go in. So we're gonna do some assembly today, and we're gonna do some decaling um, or decaling. And. So we'll just get a bit of cement on here. Might want the tweezers for this. A bit awkward. Sorry guys, I'm going to have to pull back and turn on the other light. Okay, there we go, we're in, and we just need to uh, straighten it out. Sorry about that, folks. And um, uh, beyond another coat of paint here, well, I I, uh, I used the panel liner for the uh, for the dashboard and uh, just highlighted it with some white dots using uh, uh, a toothpick. Uh, that's titanium white. Uh, it's not fancy, and you could probably do different things with it. 
but uh, uh, you're not really going to see it once the cab is uh, once the cab is on. So uh, I only go so far with that kind of stuff. Okay, so the next thing is uh, we've got the steering wheel here, and uh, there were it was attached to the sprue at two points, and unfortunately, um, you know, by the time I got it all sanded down, it doesn't look very good. So we're going to give it a just a quick. Uh, quick coat of semi-gloss here And so that's got set aside, and uh, when it's dry, I'll just plunk it in there. Okay. So these two get set aside. state of disorganization today. So here we go. We're going to uh, I painted these up, and uh, they're ready to go. So I uh, if you see on the box here. There's like vents on the blower. So I just uh, dab black paint on to make it look like there's vents on the blower. They're not perfect, but uh, they're pretty good actually. They look all right. There we go. And okay. That's done. Okay. So we'll just trim this off. This doesn't matter, it's on the bottom. So just trim it down just a little bit. And where the pieces are going to go together, we'll trim off the primer. Or most of it anyways. And same here. trim. Not going to matter because it's going into the body of the hood. Do our test fit. Test fit isn't working. Okay. Not too impressed with that, but we'll clamp her down good and uh, hope for the best. <laughs> no, it doesn't want to come up. Here we go. Okay. That really didn't want 
Come, okay, here we go. There we go. All right. Okay, so uh, here we go with our Laval cement. And you want to try and get, keep cement from getting on to the outside, especially after you paint it. set aside okay and so anyways uh, I always um, uh, recommend especially for beginners and novices um, to follow the instructions step by step and in addition to reading through them to start with and so on and so forth and uh, but once you gain a bit more experience, and, and Peter Oxley talked about this today in a video, um, and, and you develop your own way of doing things, um, it, it's still always a good idea to follow the directions, of course, all right? Um, but especially when we're doing like we're doing here, where you're pre-painting things and, and so forth, uh, you know, sometimes you might want to leave a step or do a step ahead and etc 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 so um, that's why we kind of jumped around here for these videos and I hope people haven't found it confusing um, but it's not a complicated kit so it, it's you know uh, not even I'm getting confused <laughs> all right uh, so uh, one of the steps uh, so uh, we, we assembled this here Whatever it is, I don't know, I guess it's a compressor for the air brakes or something. So anyways, um, we did this ahead of time, and uh, now we've got the diesel tanks, we left those, and uh, we've left the wheels, and uh, so now uh, we're going to uh, put this in. And uh, this putty stuff, play putty, you know, you get it at the discount store. I'm not calling it the dollar store anymore because <laughs> nothing, there's nothing for a dollar. Not worth consuming or using. So anyways, uh, yeah, it's uh, nice to stick things on. It's not, it's not like the tacky stuff, uh, but it can be used uh, much the same way. Um, and uh, um, it's handy for all sorts of things. So uh, like doing this. And uh, speaking of which, one thing it's great for is for putting in clear parts. So you get a piece of sprue like this, and you put this on the end, you squish it in good, and then you put your clear part on here, put your, uh, it, usually clear B PVA is, is, is best, and uh, then your fingers don't have to touch it. You just go and plunk it in wherever it's supposed to go. So uh, that's that's another thing that I found helpful. Okay, uh, so we're making sure we got everything. It's, we're all in here, nice and tight, the way it's supposed to be. And put that aside. Okay, and so uh, now we're going to put the diesel tanks together. Flap 
cups out of the way for the moment. These two. Okay. Oh, and, uh, yeah, I, uh, hey, uh, had to go out to the hobby shop today. I just had to, you know. Anyways, uh, you know, I picked up, uh, some, uh, clear yellow, which we're going to use here. And some clear orange, which we're not. Uh, but it will be handy for other things. You'll see what it's used for, mostly. Okay, and... And this is almost like a syrup. It's a little different than, uh, than regular stuff. So we're going to do that. Okay. And uh, we're also going to use some uh, flat yellow. And I'll explain why. Okay, uh, so we're very carefully going to snip these off. And uh, some people like to do, you know, like maybe all four at a time. I just, I just do them one at a time, uh, one or one assembly at a time. There's a, a little bit of trimming to be done here. You're going to lose some of this chrome, uh, and uh, the chrome silver really isn't this bright. So uh, I'm going to use the TS30 uh, Tamiya silver leaf and uh, it's just set tiny areas anyway so it'll hardly be noticeable yeah unfortunately okay and then again here we go test fit one down here too. There we go. And you know it's not like this is getting entered into any kind of modeling contest. There we go. Actually, that's... Huh. That's one side. <laughs> and here's the other side. Okay. Sorry about that. We have a fire station up the street. Some people may find it irritating, but I find it kind of comforting. They're right there. Anything happens, they can be here in two minutes. Come on, what's going on? Okay, and uh, because this is the, the chrominated plastic, we need to scrape it off, mostly. Comes off pretty easy.
Okay, so I'll just uh, pause the, the recording here while I clean this up. Okay, so yeah, you can see we've got the chrome off the edges there. And uh, now here, you want to be really careful. I'm going to use the tweezers to hold it because you don't want to get any glue fingerprints on the outside here. Okay, and again, very carefully. And uh, try and apply it so that if it drips, it's going to drip to the inside. Oh, Steve, you're getting shaky here today. Okay, and these two pins go in those two holes. Not a perfect fit, but Clamps again, you get it at the discount store. Uh, keep tension on that calf. And again, any imperfections or anything like uh, you know the, the seams show up here, so you know I'll, I'll just uh, I'll I'll run over those with uh, some of the the silver leaf. You're hardly going to notice it, and if you do, well, I did the best I could. So so there. Once again, get a good clamp on that. Okay, so we've got that and that, and yeah, along with the, uh, uh, you know, I got the, the, the red uh, 
the red clear spray and uh, I just squirted a little bit of that into the, the palette and did the brake lights. Uh, these get another coat as well, give them some depth. And uh, so uh, now it's time. Um, okay, uh, so now it's time for where are you? Okay, uh, so yesterday I did the fifth wheel, and um, and I did uh, one one coat of panel liner on it, and uh, right now I'm going to do the uh, seven coat so you can see how it works. Get this out of the way. Uh, as you can see, it really helped to add definition to those uh, those grooved areas. So the way this works, and uh, oh, first of all, the fumes of this stuff are wicked. So uh, as always, when you're dealing with stuff like this, um, you should uh, work in a well-ventilated area, and uh, you should probably wear a mask while you're using this stuff. Um, so uh, the, the fumes are, are, are quite toxic. So Okay, uh, so again, we're going to use our trusty tweezers here. Uh, to hold it like that and uh, the way this works is it's very thin and when you when you put it when you daub it on a line a panel line or a line like this it uh, it seeps all the way down you don't need very much so it seeps all the way down and uh, it's called uh, capillary um, and so uh, I'll show you here. Like I say, we've already got one layer. And so I'm going to put the second layer. So uh, you want to have gravity work for you here. So uh, very carefully tap that. I'm sorry, I'm going to need the, the light again. and then just very sparingly really all you have to do is touch it there did you see how that flowed down same there And uh, if you get too much, uh, you can uh, uh, wipe it up with a Q-tip like I'm going to do in a minute. This is pretty easy because you're just going to dob it around and uh, so it'll it'll give it a new but not not brand spanking new shiny it's got some grease on it which it should have so there you go Okay, and uh, that'll just dry on its own. Uh, but uh, it goes on now. Not sure where. Where does it go? Oh, okay. There we go. 
goes into these two pinholes. Like so. I think, yeah, we're going to have it down like that. Okay, so, uh, oops, get this out of the way. Once again, our trusty, oh, here. Scrape the paint off so we get a better. There we go. And I just realized, uh, oops, okay, from here back we can see all that stuff so I'll have to paint it up, that won't take long. video. Okay, you might as well watch some of this. There we go. I already knocked over one today. I don't want to knock over two.
Okay, uh, there's more to do here. So um, I will uh, I'll pause the video again uh, and I'll be right back. Just a few more minutes, honey.
Okay, so uh, as promised, here it is. Come on now, stand up. Um, as I said, it, 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 it's a lot more red. It's a much deeper red uh, than shows up with this camera. And uh, so, in any case, um, there it is. Uh, it's done, and uh, this will fit up inside here just nicely. And got a bit of, as I said, got some quite a bit of touch up to do there. But yeah, you can't you can't really see the the dashboard uh, unless you pick it up and really look right into it. But uh, like yeah, this I mean this is like a fire engine red. So um, uh, I'm really happy with the color. Okay, so uh, that's it for today. And um, we'll be back with part four. That'll be final assembly and decaling. And um, so thanks for joining me. Uh, I hope, uh, hope everyone who's uh, stopped in to watch uh, has enjoyed it, found it helpful and informative, interesting, and uh, uh, maybe even had a couple laughs on my account, my expense, at my expense. But... Uh, I'm having a great time with this. I mean, 55 pieces, it's a pretty simple kit. Um, but, I mean, you know, so far I've got, what, I'm, I've got about four hours into it. And yeah, maybe I could have done it quicker, uh, but what's the rush? Yeah. So, um, I'm very pleased with the results so far. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll, uh, we'll see you next time uh, for the, uh, the final assembly and decaling. Bye now.